I'm Mike Campbell. I'm the R3 watchable wildlife person. That means recruitment, retention, reactivation. And my job is to get people outdoors to observe wildlife and um, see the habitats that they're found in. And today we're at part of the Croatan National Forest. We're at the Cedar Point Recreation Area. Uh, and we're hoping to find some, some wildlife sign, hopefully get some uh, good looks at wildlife species, and uh, we'll just see what we can find. This is Fallon Owens. She's one of our wildlife management biologists with the Wildlife Resources Commission, and uh, she's a full of knowledge, so hopefully we can learn from each other and have a good day. You can see this is prime habitat for raccoons and other mammalian species like river otter and mink. They use these edges like this um, in order to hunt for food items. Uh, it's now low tide here, so you can see this mud flat, and we have lots of raccoons tracks running around. Uh, all through up here, and it's perfect edge habitat. A lot raccoons like to, to to hunt for food on edges, and so you can see right along where this uh, Spartina is, down to the mud flats. You can see almost a little trail through here where the raccoons have been using this area. Just the fact that the sea level rises and falls because of the gravitational forces as the moon passes over is just. It's so neat. And, and you know, the entire ecosystem, like estuarine and, and coastal ecosystems are completely evolved and adapted to those forces. And even right here we see like it's, the tide is coming in, it was low tide. All of a sudden this area that during high tide is completely underwater and becomes an area where, where fish and other aquatic animals can come in and, and they can use the space. But then during low tide, it all becomes sort of dry land and then land animals can come and use the space. So, so like the habitat changes completely in what types of animals can use it based on the tide. And even just the flow of the water, the wash of nutrients back and forth um, is the basis of the whole food chain. Um, it's, it's an incredibly fundamental part of how these ecosystems work. If suddenly the tides stopped coming in and out, then all of this would completely change. Just completely. A lot of juvenile fish species use these estuaries for uh, a nursery area. In fact, they're all called nurseries. And that means they're in here as juveniles, as small fish to escape predators. You see all the Spartina grass and things they can hide in. It helps them escape from predators. but. You know, roughly 90% of the seafood that we consume uses an estuary at some point in their, in their life. That includes uh, juvenile fish, also oysters around, so estuaries are really important.